Hello, this is Professor Stephen Eshiba, and I'm just going to take you through the, some steps on how to do an albedo calculation. So the first thing you'll want to do is here in our Canvas page, uh, click on this and uh, you'll want to uh, save that link as and eventually move that up to a Google Drive. And I've already done that, so I'm going to move on to the next step, which is uh, you're going to click on this link for albedo and it should open up like this. You want to open up with Colab, as I've done here. And uh, as soon as it comes up, we'll see something like this. Now, what this does is uh, you're going to import, uh, bring in a, a, a file, and, uh, and then, uh, and then you, there's some resources that you won't have to change. Uh, mainly, we're just going to look at this, this last bit here. So. But first, what I want to show you how to do is go to that place there, and in your this will this should open up your your drive. And as I say, I have already um, imported my file. It's called Green, and so there. What I'm going to do is go to that part and say copy the path, which is what you'll do, but um, based on your own um, drive. And then I'm going to put it there. Now, the way you execute each one of these cells, we can do it sequentially. I'm, you can uh, you can press on this button, and uh, so uh, that's going to execute that cell. And then when you're done with that one, you can execute that one. You can also just go to runtime and say run all, which is a little bit easier. And uh, as you can see, what it's done is it's loaded up the image file. Uh, the idea here is that this part of the white is uh, an albedo of, uh, uh, of, of one. It reflects everything. The green, light, green part will not reflect all light, and the black uh, will have an albedo of zero. And what's shown here is going from left to right uh, across here, right in the middle. And uh, you can see that the white part has... Uh, has a high a high brightness level, 0.6 in this scale. The green part has a lower brightness, which is like 0.45. Then it goes back to white. Then it goes to black, which has a very low albedo. And uh, and so the way uh, you can do this next step uh, uh, on your own, if you like, or here in 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 Python, uh, what I've done is I've said, okay, what I really want to know is what's the what's the ratio of the green part to the black part relative to the white part to the black part because that's going to tell me what the uh, what the albedo is and that's what I've done here so that's 0.45 minus 0.05 that uh, that part there on the black divided by the whole range white to black which is 0.6 divided by 0.05 and I had it print out the albedo which is 0.72 for that for that uh, green